Hey bodies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon, today I'm bringing you how to set up, play and review the game Counter-Attack, the football strategy game. Now, of course, this is a game which is only for two players. You could, of course, potentially play it as a three, four, whatever you want to play it as. Potentially even 11 aside, let's talk about that. So this is a game that has been produced that I have uh, spoken to the designer actually at numerous times. It's a game which, uh, as it intends, it is, a, it is a strategy game, but I think it's a bit more tactical than that. And I've talked about the components already in that prior video. If you want to check that out, that's in the unboxing preview teaser trailer video. All the videos that I do when I do a teaser trailer, it lets you know what's coming soon to the channel. And as you can see, you can have certain layouts and formations of various well-known football players. Okay, so this is a game whereby you do play it over 90 minutes, but there are options to play it if you wish over, say, 30 minutes. And I must admit, like with FIFA, you can play a game for 90 minutes, but quite frankly, a game of maybe 12 minute halves or six minute halves is probably what most people are after. So in this particular game, you are looking to, fun enough, be just like football and score on the goal. It's very much like football. And even though I don't tend to do reviews uh, straight off the bat, I tend to wait towards the end. I will be mixing this in with some of my views as I am setting up the game. Now, I could talk to you about yellow cards and red cards, but I want to talk to you about the core mechanics of the game, the core mechanisms, and of course, if this is something that would be of interest to you. If you want to see a dice distancing video, I will also be doing that. If you want to see other distances of how far dice roll, you can find that in the playlist called Dice Distancing. If you want to see other how to set up player reviews, by of course, please check that out. You can do that in the playlist as well. And also, every other game pretty much on here is on a mass games playlist. I also consider this a family weight game, so you can also do that in that playlist. And being a two player game, there's another playlist for this as well. Aside from that, I, I wouldn't call this abstract strategy. I think the theme is extremely strong, so I wouldn't say it's that. You can, of course, use these little football tokens, or instead, you can, of yours, use the special uh, die here, this, the special counter. So the quality from Long Pack uh, is fantastic. It looks amazing. Lovely cardboard boxes. Uh, the way this board is actually flaps feels very nice. There's no kind of like seams and anything like that, as I mentioned on that prior video. So you are going to set up. You are now wanting to choose your various cards. Let's talk about that. Well, let's just move these teams off to one side. There are some other things in the box, which I won't be using too much, but we have uh, distances that you can pass and you have timers as well to do with how long people might take to take their turn. So we have got various cards. Let's go straight to the referees. There are various levels of leniency you can have. You could shuffle them and pick whatever you want. But generally speaking, you might want quite a lenient referee initially. For now, I'm just going to put these back in the box. So of course, do let me know what you think about this game. Do let me know what your thoughts are. As always, uh, let me know in the comments in YouTube. This video might be hosted elsewhere. So of course, if you do it on YouTube, it's a greater audience where also you can check out the description. You can support the channel via, of course, uh, following on Instagram, over 2,000, almost 300 photographs now. Also following by supporting the channel and subscribing and hitting the notification bell. There has been a video daily since May 2021 at time of recording. And lastly, supporting by Patreon to help me obviously get the best way possible to bring you games sooner. Okay, so we're now gonna take these cards. You're just gonna take four cards and return them to the game box. Just like in some other games, it allows you to ensure that maybe there's certain characters that you wanna keep it fresh and varied as well. Now comes the draft. You're now taking turns to decide actually who is going to be in your team. So we've laid out the pitch. We've got Webster from Scotland. It's actually a Scottish made game. And now you're gonna choose your team, as I said. So you are going to take your respective characters and you're now going to pretty much be doing a draft. You're deciding who is going to be in your team. So let's just take two as an example. I don't know, I might pick this guy because this happens to have the great aerial ability, Feral. As you can see, there's no male or female references. So it's quite handy. And down here you can place them, I don't know, let's put them in gold for whatever reason. Equally, of course, Connor is going to go up here and let's say they're going to pick it there. So you're going to keep going through and picking the rest. Now, having said that, you probably want to have an actual goalkeeper, as you can see, because it's a slightly different background. In this case, you've got Walker in goal. OK, and now we're going to move on. So let's just double check. Sorry, these are these are both goalies. So you're doing goalie bits. And now let's move on to the rest of the teams. Let's just say we've brought out some various ones along here. So this will continue. If you want to see other playthrough videos, there's also a playlist as well on the channel. So you can see actually how a game plays in its entirety. And of course, I will talk to you about a bit more about this review in a moment. 
So now we have done that player draft. We've picked those various characters and now the rest are going to go away. Of course, pretty much everything has been picked and you can get expansions. You can get your own team. You can get other nationalities, other strips, other tokens as well. Lots of variety. But of course, you might want to check this out too. I actually have multiple copies of this game. So uh, I will be selling on one actually, funny enough. And there's one nation in particular who's very, very interested in playing this game. So again, you've built up your squad, you've lined up. So now the very bit of the fun bits happens. You're now lining up your team. So maybe you want your number 11 up front, of course, based on Kerr, funnily enough, also being from Scotland. You want that person to be, 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 maybe be here, right by the ball, obviously. Maybe you want number seven, obviously, up on the wing. You might want to have your midfielders around here. Maybe you want to go for this. So unlike regular football, where you might have a 4-4-2 or whatever formation you like, you're specifically aligning it to be wherever you want it to be. As you can see, the sun is shining over here. We've got a nice clear day today. So in this instance, we happen to have someone over on the wing. Let's just say they've gone really crazy and they've gone for this ridiculous uh, line here. And now it's the attacker's turn. So you can just obviously flip a coin and see maybe roll to see who starts and obviously a spare ball as well. You're now looking to see, obviously you have a ref as well. You've obviously got your, um, you've got your goalies. Let's say it's like this. And you're looking to now, of course, uh, head off. So right now this person is going to shoot and they're able to see how far they can go. And as you can see, it's obviously a bit tricky to see with, of course, um, this background. So let's do it like this. You can see, obviously, the first time pass, a standard pass, a shot and a high pass. And there are various different actions that you can take. When you kick off, you want to start with a pass and it allows you to tell you exactly how far. So right now we are seeing how far you can pass. So you have the passing stick. We can see the distance. If you're doing it from the center of the hex. And like right now we want to obviously get it past, obviously, these players. So let's say it's around about here. Now, what we're going to do is now talk about the movement. So I mentioned who is the attacker, who's the defender, who's going first. Obviously, they're doing kickoff. You will now move four of your characters, four of your players. Sorry, that's just our terminology, of course, when you're playing multiple games. And you are looking to move, obviously, into various spaces to try and stretch the defense. So you can move four. One, two, three, four. You're doing four of them and then they are moving five. So suddenly they're going to move wherever they want to do. Something is going to move five and then you're going to move two to try and obviously mitigate or whatever attack they may well choose to do. Then what happens is you are obviously going to refer to your playing guide. Your playing guide will allow you to define uh, what exactly you can do after your turn. So if you want to do, um, say, you've done a movement, you are then going to do something afterwards and that might be a long pass or whatever it's going to be. So there's certain limitations on what you can do. And uh, that was a reinforcement has arrived. That was a substitute coming onto play, that, that noise over there. And now we're going to be talking about tackling. So if you have a leniency, obviously you're going to leniency the attribute for whichever obviously player that you're using. You're then going to make a roll when you're tackling to define exactly how you are going to be against it. And that's making sure you can check to see if you're a foul. So what you're going to do now is you're going to compare that value against other values on your cards to see actually how, how suitable you are at being good enough. So you may want to choose based on your characters, let's say Russo from Russia, or sorry, in this case, Romania, actually how good they are. So paces are pretty good, but obviously green is better. The resilience is very strong. They're tackling very weak. So you probably want to, want to use them, obviously, as a defender, perhaps something like that. So, of course, when you do have a tackle and you're up against someone else, you need to roll and check that it's higher than their resilience. So in this case, uh, we would be fine because the resilience obviously is higher than that. So it's absolutely fine. And uh, then we need to talk about maybe crosses, crosses that are coming in. So in this instance, you could choose to do this. So what you want to do is look into maybe a high pass. Obviously, a distance is very long with a high pass. It's a very long distance thing and it allows you to move, obviously, further with the ball. Other things, so we can also look into, let's say, uh, a heading duel. So in this instance, you have a striker being challenged by a defender. And what you want to do is compare, obviously, their heading attribute. So let's say this person, um, let's say this person over here. Over here, we have a heading attribute of four. And obviously, theirs is a three. So now we're going to roll off and see who is the higher. The highest person, obviously, is then going to win that, that header. And of course, that's important because it's all about controlling the play, controlling the ball, controlling, obviously, possession is obviously nine-tenths of the law. And then we're going to talk about going for goal. So the way this works is when you, to take to, when you choose to take a shot, the goalie can move up to three spaces. You'll need to make sure that your ball, obviously, using that straight line, can, of course, curve in. Let's say you obviously could curve it like this. It's going to go in. So as long as you're more than three spaces away, you are fine if you actually have the ball 
ready to obviously get it into that net. In this case, obviously, that's too wide. So you're trying to obviously draw that uh, goalie away from here. That's of course, you might want to have a pass, a pass and shoot attack. So lots of different options there. It's very impressive. And of course, then let's say this person's team has just scored. They all run over and celebrate around that corner flag, obviously, like that, something like that. Okay, so you can celebrate as you wish, but of course, uh, these are, are going to roll, so be careful. And obviously, there's a lot more to it. Uh, in terms of a review, uh, like I said, in terms of football games, this is probably the best I've ever played. I've played a number, and I would say it's an 8 out of 10 in that respect. From a rules perspective, I would say it's in the relegation zone. This is version 1.3 of the rules, and there are lots of things you've really got to double check, but it is quite smooth. The downside with it being a timed game, because that is an aspect to it, and of course this is where house ruled it, in a 90 minute game all you could do is be winning and go, yeah, I'm just going to wind down the clock because you could take as long as you want. That is of course why you obviously have these timers to be aware of it and uh, the way it flows between obviously who's leading who's not, it's something that might uh, dictate what you're after. But uh, I think it, there's a lot of good games in here, uh, lots of good quality, like I said, the quality of the production, quality of uh, obviously uh, the manufacturing as well. And for the price, I think it's pretty good. I think there's a lot to it for what you get out of it. Lots of different variety. I did talk to you about the other things you can be doing. So at the back, obviously quick fire rounds and stuff like that. Obviously I've met Colin and uh, there's expansion packs as I mentioned, various other things you can customize your game. And I mean, football and board games, there isn't a big overlap. In a way I wish there'd be more. I think there's, a, there's definitely an audience. And I think from a mentality point of view, I still think that's definitely the case. Uh, I've, I've certainly enjoyed it. The people I've played it with, football fans in particular, have definitely enjoyed it as well. And it's something which, like I said, it's something which it's a bit different. It's, it has that strategy element. It has that tactics. And that's very strong in uh, people who may be familiar with skirmish games and things like this. So there's, there's a lot to it. Again, there's, uh, there's a way more to it, which I hadn't even talked about. For example, rolling a die, as you can see, you can just about make this out. There's six numbers around here. And basically when there's been a loose ball. So you're rolling a die to see how uh, or where it's gonna spawn from. Again, spawning words and terminologies. And then you're defining actually how far is it gonna go from that location. So uh, really interesting idea. Glad to see this has been made and I think a lot's gone into it. And uh, if you have any other questions, again, you have comments, you have script descriptions, you can check it out. Of course, please do share and let me know your thoughts on this one. And of course, there's that like button, there's a subscribe, and there's uh, numerous other ways that you can be checking out loads more content coming along. Uh, in terms of folding up, I've uh, done a great job in the past of folding it up, and now you can see, I think, how to do it again. Uh, but I will leave you with it, and if you have any other questions, I look forward to speaking to you on the next video, of course, daily videos coming out. Let's just see how on earth I managed to do this. This is quite important as it's, uh, you might want to skip through these last few seconds as I'm sure I've managed to do this before correctly. Let's have a look. Here we go, nearly there. Oh dear, it's like a map. And I am going to keep on filming, keep on filming. Let's figure out what on earth I've done. So that falls across, this falls across. That doesn't fold across. This doesn't fold across either. That is the inverse. You definitely need to see the other side of the map. And let's figure this out. Oh, it's like this. That was right. That bit wasn't. That isn't right either. Now, this is the only time I've not been able to fold it away. And this is really bizarre. As we're now encroaching on a lengthy video. We need to be a substitute. I need to put these cards away too. Maybe that was a factor. Okay. The first and only time I haven't been able to put it away. Let's just start chanting. We're into extra time here now. The whistle wants to blow. Right, so this is the key fold. That is the fold. So if that's the fold, that's not it either. 
This could go viral. This could go viral. Right, the key folder's there. Let's fold that first then. This feels better. Nope. Oh. Nope. Nope. That works, but I don't think that's how I put it away. I'll look into that later. There we go. That has been counter attack.